What's going on guys? Back with another video. So got a, quite a few things to get into today. We'll get into some kind of like news that rolled in last week and then some pickups and upcoming releases also for this week as well. So let's go ahead and just um, get into, into things. Um, so first off, the big thing obviously for just for me personally and for this channel was the um, Analog announced a new product on Friday, which was the Analog uh, Duo. And what that is, is it'll be a cross between, um, or I guess it'll be two things. You can play pretty much Turbo Graphics. 16 hue cards you can also play pc engine games on that and that'll be an all fpga based system i did a additional video on that so you can go ahead and check it out i'll link it up here um in the corner and you can check out kind of like a little bit more details on that but real psyched for that it's going to be 199 limited quantities because it's analog of course and that's not going to come out until <clears throat> 2021 so i'm not sure when pre-orders will start for that but i'll update you when that comes out um, also, uh, next up, the PS5 user experience. They did like a 10 minute video just kind of going over just uh, just basic things on the PS5 user experience. And the kind of like the main thing on this was just they showed the speed of how quickly you can jump from game to game or game to app from the inter interface itself. Um, one of the things is like the play PlayStation Store um, will be integrated into the, um, interface as opposed to it being a standalone app, which takes you forever to log in and out of like it does already. So it's going to be pretty cool to see. Um, but the biggest thing that I thought was, was the most interesting was they allowed, they're allowing, um, video share and group chats. So if you're like in a group chat and you can pretty much like live stream and show people in your group chat what you're playing, or they can show you what they're playing and you can pretty much just sit there and hang out and talk and like basically watch what they're playing which is a pretty awesome awesome feature so i kind of want to see how well that works but it'll be pretty interesting to see how that goes you know works going forward um and then one more thing about it was that they they kind of went into just like how like they're going to have a the tips and hints for games are going to be integrated into the interface really really well so like if you're stuck on a game or you know so you won't have to go to probably you know it'll pretty much directly right direct you right to a video if you're stuck somewhere and kind of give you updates as you're going through the the level how much how much completion you have as far as that level how much estimated time you have left on that level a lot of really neat features so i i will be interested in anxious to get my hands on that whenever that happens which who knows um <laughs> but but that was that was a really fun video to watch uh next up uh GameStop and Microsoft apparently reached a deal. And this is going to be, uh, I'm curious to see how this plays out going forward. Because what the deal is going to do, it's going to um, pretty much GameStop will get a percentage of all digital sales that come from a piece of Microsoft hardware that they sell. So I don't know what that percentage is. I don't know if that was released. But that's something that will probably look like it's going to help to keep GameStop in business going forward for at least this generation. And I'll be interested to see if they kind of try to strike a deal with sony as well um because you know gamestop being gamestop how they like to push stuff down your throat which is why i just typically i don't mind ordering stuff from from online there but i really really ever go in storage because i don't like dealing with that that hard sales pitch they try to give you now it seems like they're going to be trying to push and sell you really hard on that that series x uh or the series um series s so but i think it probably is good for gamestop not that i care for I, I want GameStop to stay in business for the lone fact that they sell physical media and if they go kind of that's really just kissing physical media goodbye altogether so I don't like them but I want them to survive that's kind of how I feel about that but I would like to see how hard they're going to be pushing the Xbox consoles as opposed to the PlayStation consoles and will Sony do something to counteract that and try to make a deal with them that'll be interesting to see go going forward um that's it as far as just like really news um upcoming releases so the cadence of hyrule crypt of the necro dancer featuring the legend of zelda comes out uh, october 23rd which is this friday and that is the game has been out i think for a year and this is almost like a complete edition where it's going to include three different dlc packs one is like five additional characters one is um I think additional um, tunes or soundtracks, and then three is like an additional actual content as far as like a stage or story that you can play through. And this is like a roguelike rhythm-based um, game. Uh, it looks, I know a lot of people actually like it quite a bit. Um, I don't, I'll probably pick this up sooner or later. I don't, I'm not going to get it this Friday at launch. I'm not that interested in it, but I think it will be something that I'll add and take a look at 
down the road. But let me know if you've played the game, the original game already, and if you do, if you how, like how much you like it, um, or if you're going to be picking this one. I'm kind of interested to see what the feel is for that game uh, going forward. But that is it as far as um, news and stuff, so let's go ahead and get into some pickups. All right, guys, so as far as pickups, I've got, like I said, got quite a few things uh, really excited to get into this week. Um, first off, um, I've been looking for, like, a Joker statue for a while. I have, a, I have, I think, one or two Joker statues, but they're not. One is, like, a Joker Batman one together, and it's okay. I, got, I think it was part of a, a collector's edition that I got. Um, but this one I found, and it was, on, it was like, 50% off. So it was on Amazon. This is a, a, a DC Icons Joker. And I really like the mold. That's one thing. Like a lot of the Joker statues, I don't really like the art style that they went with. This is one that I actually liked, and it was pretty. I think it ended up being like forty something dollars because it was like I think it was fifty or fifty plus percent off on Amazon. So I grabbed it. Really like it. Um, like I said, this is a it's, fr it's from the it's from DC Collectibles, but it's the D DC Icons series. Um, and then I liked it so much, I was like, well, shoot, since I got that, I'm gonna need to get. The Harley, I got a good deal on the Harley as well, so I got Harley to go with her, and I really like the mold of, of Harley, and she looks really nice with with the Joker. And then on top of that, then I like the Deadshot, so I got the Deadshot. Now the next one is, yeah, the Deadshot is awesome. I, I don't have any Deadshot um, characters or figures or statues or nothing like that, so this is the first one I have, but I really am digging the DC Icons line if you have any in that line let me know let me know what your favorite is of that line but the one left that i really want to get is uh death deathstroke so deathstroke is the more expensive of of all of them and i'm going to look wait until i can see look find a pretty good deal on him but i really like deathstroke from that line that's pretty fantastic as well um next up i did a separate video for this so i won't go too far into it i got the um game gear micro i got the blue one this comes with uh, four games, and I did, like I said, I'll do, I'll put a link up here in the description to where I can go a little bit further into that, but it's a cool little, cool little trinket, um, maybe, probably a little bit expensive for, for what it is, but like I said, you can check it out, a little bit more described, uh, video if you want to check, you know, take a look at that. Next up, I had gotten a bunch more, and I'm losing them, I got ten more of these, these are the, um, customgamecases.com, these are the Game Gear ones that I've been getting, uh, I ordered 10 more. I've been ordering them in chunks of 10 until uh, I probably got to do 10 more and then I'll be all caught up on games that I have. But I've kind of been trying to pick games up as I go. But I love the quality of these. Um, like I said, it takes about like a month, month or two for them to ship and get to you. But once they do, really high quality. If you're a Game Gear collector, I would highly suggest checking out these cases. Okay, next up, um, this is the Street Fighter World Warrior Encyclopedia Arcade Edition. Uh, this, I think, will be the first one. I'm going to do a flip through of this this week. I'm actually, I'm committing to doing that. So I will actually do a flip through of this and I'll go more into detail. And I'll try to do a flip throughs of some art books just going forward. But got that this week. Uh, Sega Visions, Winter 1990-91. Um, this puts me, um, I think, a little bit over halfway as far as where I am as far as my Sega Visions um, set as far as completing that. I think I got maybe... I don't know, around 10 left, I think, to go. Maybe more than that. Somewhere around there. But this is one of the, the first ones. This is, I think, the first first format. Next up, Best Buy had a deal on Steelbooks that I was notified by my friend Will Sean. And I think this was 5 or 6 bucks. This is the It. This is the 2018 um, It re-release or remaster, or I guess, whatever you want to call it or interpretation that kind of came out in 2018. Haven't seen it yet, but I've been, you know, in the mood of buying these horror steelbooks because uh, that's the season and looking forward to checking that out. And next we have X-Men 2, The Clone Wars. Um, this, I actually got this cart only and then I made, uh, I went ahead and made uh, the cover for this. I don't think that there's actually a clamshell version of this that comes, that comes. I think it's just a cardboard cock cardboard box ver version and it's not the greatest it's hard to find one in good condition that's affordable so i just got a card only and then went ahead and made my um case for this but this is the um by far the better of the two um x-men games um where well, there's multiple x-men games i guess if you want to get into it i think there's more than just these two for the genesis um but at least i think there are there's got to be but anyways of the x-men and then the x-men um to Clone Wars, this one is, I think, is a lot better. I think it, most people think that as well. It's just a two two D 
um, action action platformer is what it is, but where you can choose between a bunch of the different X Men, obviously. Um, and then I also got Dynamite Heady on the Game Gear. Uh, really good game on the Game Gear. It's obviously a little bit better on the Genesis, but always looking to add games to the Game Gear collection so I can then get my case. Uh, so I got now I got to order a case for it. Uh, from customgamecases.com. But that is it as far as uh, pickups, I guess you can get into. Um, I did also pick this up. This is G.I. Joe Operation Blackout. Um, I beat the game. I have like one or two more trophies until I've actually platinum this thing, uh, which you can go through this and get all the trophies and knock them out pretty quickly. Like I'm probably like about 15 or 20 hours. I think you can probably get a platinum on this game. Uh, but I'm going to do a review on this. Uh, I, you guys know I like doing reviews on games that kind of get, that are kind of mid, mid-tier mid budget games to get crapped on by uh, by a lot of reviewers. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do a review. I'm 100% sure I'm doing a review of this, and that'll be coming within a day or two, and I'll give you my full thoughts on it once I, I want to get that platinum first so I can pretty much say I completed the game. To where I know a lot of people just did not spend as much time with it, and then they send out that review. So my, my views on the game, the more I've played that game, the views on, on it have changed. It's, you know, we'll, we'll get into it in, in that video. And then also uh, Doom 2016. I finally beat Doom 2016. I wanted to beat Doom Eternal. Realized I hadn't beat the original Doom, and uh, I they're the direct, it's a direct sequel, so I'm like, well, let me go through and beat Doom. So I actually beat this, and now I'm actually working on seeing if I can get the platinum on that as well. So I think that's it, guys. I flew through stuff pretty quickly, um, but there was a lot there. But let me know uh, what you think about that user interface for the PS5. If you saw what you thought the coolest feature um, that, that, that you saw. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.